In this video, I'm going to show how you can load the patch bank that I made for the hardware microcorg into the the VST that Korg released uh, a few years ago, a couple years ago. Um, so I've never done this before, but it should be pretty easy, I think. All right, let's figure this out. Um, so I use Cakewalk, but you can obviously use any DAW. And I've already got the microcorg VST installed. I'm just doing the demo. And as you can hear, and as you can hear uh, the factory bank is here, all the factory sounds. Um, and so when you buy my patch bank for the microcorg, you get a download. Uh, and this is what it looks like. And it's got um, different formats because it uh, it's been different for Windows or for PC, uh, for Mac, and uh, and then Korg stopped supporting the Mac, uh, and so I've got SysX, and then not everybody has a, a MIDI uh, thing, so I have like these manual these these uh, recipe files, I just have these uh, instructions like that. Um, all right, so I'm going to extract all. Okay, and then I'm going to go back in here. And there's this little hamburger and import. And uh, obviously you put it somewhere better than your downloads folder, but uh, I wasn't really thinking. Um, okay, so I have no idea what format it will read, but I'm hoping it will open this set file for the, the setup file for the Windows version and did anything happen? Thrace is here cool So far, these all sound... I don't know why that's sticking. Um, that's nothing to do with my patch, my patches. All right, so I don't know why my MIDI controller, it was not releasing the keys, but uh, I went through all the sounds and they all sounded as uh, I would expect. So it works. Uh, so if you want to get my microcorg sounds and you don't have a microcorg, you can buy the the VST version and get my sounds and use those in your productions. Uh, I'm going to put a link in the description to I, I demoed every single sound in my patch bank. Uh, I made two different videos because there's an update to it. Um, and so the first one is like the first half of patches and the second video has the second half of the patches. Um, but yeah, it's uh, I haven't played with the microcorg in a while. Um, mine's been loaned out for years. Uh, so it's cool to hear these sounds again. Um, and if there's an interest, I might make like a, I could always make a, uh, a volume two or something. Uh, you know, I've done a lot of um, sound design on synths since I did this. I mean, this, this, this patch bank, you know, like I said, I started working on these patches like over 20 years ago. Um, and maybe like 10 years ago, I like really expanded it. Um, and so, yeah, I've, I've, yeah, I think I could do a lot more uh, cool stuff today. Um, so yeah, if if enough people ask for it, I'll, I might do a volume two. Um, but yeah, I hope that helps anybody. If you're wondering if you could do that or uh, if it would work or just how you would do it, um, I don't know. But anyways, it worked. It sounds right and. Uh, in a way, it could be a lot easier if you're working on like production stuff and just having the sounds in the box and you have the MIDI and it's just you have multiple instances and stuff. Um, that's I prefer to work that way. Like I have all these hardware synths and then a lot of times I just end up working with VSTs just because it's so easy to tweak stuff later. Um, 
So yeah, that's uh, that's great. Uh, take care. Bye.